L.A. wants to clear out a homeless encampment in Echo Park, and city officials say it's dirty and dangerous. Yes, but homeless advocates worry there's no clear plan on where the people there are going to go. CBS 2's Hermela Aragawi shows us the encampment fight. Fight, fight, fight! Housing is a human right! Hundreds of advocates for the homeless gathered at Echo Park Lake today to protest the city's plans to clear this large homeless encampment at the park for half a million dollars in repair work. Nobody wants to see people living, uh, sleeping in the park, but equally nobody wants to see people living on the streets. Community well, activist Carlos Marroquin says the homeless issue has gotten worse during the pandemic as more people have lost their jobs. I am struggling to just try and get my life together. Valerie Zeller says she never thought she'd be homeless, but a couple of months ago she ended up in the encampment at Echo Park Lake. We have nowhere else to go. Mariquin says while the city is planning to clear the park, it hasn't been listening to community leaders who for a long time have been asking for long-term solutions. Yeah, they're going to give them vouchers to go to a hotel. But what happens after that? Those vouchers are not permanent. They're temporary. You know, again, these are band-aids. And what we need is real solutions. In a radio interview earlier, City Councilman Mitch O'Farrell, who represents this area, said the city has been working with community organizers since January to transition people into housing. And while some like to paint the encampment as a peaceful utopia, he says there are a lot of crimes happening within and around the park. He spoke on KNX 1070. There have been four deaths at the lake, several overdoses. There have been assaults, including sexual assaults, reports from housed and unhoused people in the area of animal abuse. The city also says it has offered to tag and store people's belongings. In Echo Park, Hermela Aragawi, CBS 2 News.